have you guys been anywhere near public transport or out and about today? Because not to spook you, oh, but no. you folks are everywhere. Uh, I oh. wake up, I get out of bed, I go on the tube. We saw you in um, Leicester Square today. Yeah. yeah. Is that does that ever get normal? Oh look, it's no. me. <laughs> <laughs> but it also just still feels like it's not. I feel like we've been living in this weird made-up universe. Yeah. So I see it, and I'm yeah. just like, in our silly game, this is real. But well, now it's about to be actually real. I hate it to tell <laughs> you this, it is. but I don't think that the Lord of the Rings is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brother gave his life hunting the enemy. His task is now mine. Speak your truth. You're Stand with me. Ours was no chance meeting. Not fate. It's written in gold. Nor destiny. Ours was the work of something greater. You get the gig. Yes. And you can't tell anybody. True. Mm. So of the people you were eventually allowed to tell, who reacted the most loudly with excitement and happiness? I think mine was... Well, I told my mum over text. She was quite excited over text. I think my housemate, though. My you housemate told, was really excited. Just to rewind, you told your mum over text. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I haven't, I haven't said that before. There we go. It's all coming out. I so, didn't even know that. Yeah. So you, you're going to go... To New Zealand for two years, and you were like, "Hey, mum." Well, I, do- <laughs> I told her that. Bye. I, got- <laughs> I told her that I got the role over text because I was on the phone, so I was like, "Oh, this is you know, I'll just text her." But then when I, I remember my housemate actually like <laughs> dropping to the ground. What I told her? She was so excited. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." I have a friend who I watched the films with over and over again. I was like, I broke confidentiality to tell her because I was like, she's going to be so happy about this. I can't not. Yeah, and she was like, oh my gosh, I was really excited about that, and now it's just going to be you. (laughs) Well done. So you guys, I'm sure, are being asked in every single interview you've done over the past eight years, it feels like, I'm sure, (laughs) something along the lines of, can you tell us about your character? Am I wrong? More or less. I'm not sure if I know enough. So excited to answer this, because we've not actually been asked this. Oh, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is your mum to answer the question for you. Yeah, Yeah, whenever someone brings it up, just ring me, I need it. Yeah, if he asks this, call me. (laughs) Who has it in the makeup chair the longest? When you're fully Um, in the most elaborate version of your character, of the two of you, is it like 15 minutes to get into that suit of armour? It's definitely you more consistently. Yeah, right? but if you're scabby, then it's. If does. I have the scabs, then I'm <laughs> yeah. there for quite a long time. <laughs> it's a scabs day. Yeah, yeah. Because I had full body scabs. Ooh, Maybe not yeah. my legs, because I had leather trousers. There's no need to show off with your full yeah, body full scabs. Full body scabs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, some people, some of yeah. the orcs were in there, like, they would start work Seven at midnight to, to be on set at 7 a.m. To be pulled yeah. out of the ground. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Blimey. I loved wearing a cool vest. Mm-hmm. And it was, it, it's a vest that you put on and it's got like tiny little pipes going through it. Mm-hmm. And a pipe going down to this bag that pumps uh, ice water. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> um, through your body. So that, I mean, I didn't look glamorous. It looked like I was, you know. Carrying a little suitcase. Carry, yeah, carrying a little Back. suitcase with a tube coming into me. <laughs> Are there particular skills or tricks that you've learned shooting this show that you maybe didn't see coming? Are there little difficulties that the casual observer might not realise? I keep obsessing over the armour, but you must be like going, oh, that's how you run in that. Um, the armour, though, like that Robert Patterson scene in The King is very true. Mm-hmm. And when it's in the it- mud. Once you get down, yeah. there's no getting it's up. It's the getting up that's like very <laughs> undignified. Um, yeah, so it was that. So a few times when you're doing kind of fights and stuff, that if you just went slightly off and ended up on your back. If you lean the wrong way on a horse and then the set, and you get yeah. your sword stuck in the saddle and then you're like sliding <laughs> off sideways. Oh, and the most like irritating thing that 
that it's so hard is putting your sword back in its sheath. Oh, tell me about it. So of the three of you, I suppose, I should ask, who is the biggest talking nerd? Who, like, really oh. knows their stuff? Yeah, that one. 110%. <laughs> the sound barrier broke as your thumb went that way. 100%. <laughs> this group this in particular group. is a tie. Yeah. A tie I, because you're all so good? A tie because we're all medium compared to the rest of, like, not yeah. the rest of the cast. Oh, yeah. I mean, you compare compared to, like, to Rob Bob. Arameo yeah. uh -huh. is a talking it's, it's hard to feel buff. like so a scholar. So we don't feel... We don't feel well versed enough compared to him. I've got a Lord of the Rings monopoly actually. We've did, played it a few times. Yeah. Didn't I get it? Didn't I get it? Didn't I get you on the Yes, I got you it for bought you. me. Yes, <laughs> Nala bought me the Lord of the Rings monopoly yeah. for my birthday, yeah. my fifteenth birthday. Did you get to spend much time actually in New Zealand? For example, did you get to do the Tongariro Crossing, which, yes. as a you know Lord of the Rings fan, was my you know right passage. Ooh, right. Yeah, I loved it. I did this. I did the, the Northern Circuit, which is where you do the crossing, and then you do a couple other days going around. That was very cool. That was very nerdy. That's the hardcore answer. I <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Can you, you can't top that. Though, can I you? didn't do that. <laughs> did I invite you? I was too busy. <laughs> I was too busy not doing that. So that's what happened. No, you, this was a solo trip. You yeah, know, just me. going Aragon. Oh yeah, yeah. you sleep with the sword by your side, don't you? Yeah, yeah, in the scab, in the yeah. scabbard, in the scabby scabbard, <laughs> in the scabs. <laughs> um, so tell me. What are the least glamorous moments of shooting this? Because yes, money, no expense spared, fine. <laughs> when did you go, ah, you know, it's not all fun and games. Going to the toilet in the costume. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that was particularly hard. So I'm going to stop there, but that's... that's uh... So physically going to the bathroom rather than just... <laughs> I don't want in the costume. Guys, I'm done. <laughs> it's happening, by the way, it's happening now. It's happening now. <laughs> oh, there's there's this one scene where I'm where I'm crying, right? And it's not. Oh bubbles. Was, Which one was that? Was it Do you rem do you remember we, we were all there? Yeah, it was us three. Oh yeah, because it but it <laughs> fell on my forearm. Yeah. That's why yeah. the snot came out. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was it was like hanging down and I turned around and another makeup artist was like, uh it, tissue and I'm my, like my hand is here and you know I'm doing my thing here and then all of a sudden I just feel that <laughs> and I in, in character I just look around and it's like it's just like dangling. Not glamorous. No. This is why you wear armor. <laughs> no, but it wasn't the one patch of skin that had nothing. Oh, it was um, on skin. <laughs> yeah, but there was the emotions. This boy was stealing that scene. You'll see. Can you guys give examples of the level of incredibly expensive detail that is on set? Well, something I was really excited about is I had a dress that they'd actually sourced loads of scraps of old fabric that was from the 1920s <laughs> and so as an elf i was wearing something that was a hundred years old so that so was cool. amazing so cool yeah and i had the best mithril that money could buy yeah, yeah <laughs> throughout i remember remember the incense in uh, numenor yeah. which is a, basically a city that they built they had little tiny bits of incense in all the alleyways that I don't think the camera would ever really no. cover. No, it's not smell of vision yeah. No, exactly. I'm looking forward Soon. to that bake-off. Uh, yeah, I like the yeah. scratch and stiff. <laughs> that was pretty spectacular. Yeah. When we all go to Numenor collectively, I, it, it blows me away because when you see it, mm. you know it's all real mm. and it is all real. And I think that's a... Um, you can just see the difference, I, th yeah. I think. You can just sort of go like, wow, that is a port. It yeah. feels yeah. like a port. Yeah. It's built like one. Yeah. And there's people living life there. Mm. It's a great thing. What was amazing is that, you know, we, we filmed in one of our main locations um, was was a forest. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually found out at the end of filming that that wasn't actually a forest, it was a clearing within a forest. So they built... They they implanted trees like they put trees in, so they put a forest inside a forest. So I think they just they yeah honestly the level yeah. of detail is amazing. They talk about budget and stuff like that. That's really not an area of expertise. Mm -hmm. We know very little about it, but all yeah. we can talk about is the resources, yeah. all the resources that we had to to go into these into these characters to mm -hmm. delve into this world. It it is a once in a lifetime kind of thing because a lot of it was not CGI. Yeah. So you we were effects. able to live there, live yeah. in those. Did well, the bow like, function? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. it, <laughs> you a said little, like you've told them a off little it. too well. <laughs> yeah. Too well. A little too well. Or like, hey, you're just gonna take a casual ride in a helicopter to the top of a mountain. You're gonna do oh, a scene yeah. on the top of a mountain. That's a lush what? moment. As and then you like as you get it. out, you have a producer say, "Welcome to Middle Earth." Mm -hmm. What do you think? It is about Tolkien's work that has proved so enduring, that people love so much. From your perspective, because you've been in it for like two mm. years. 
I think it's courage and bravery. Mm. Um, you have people who kind of, it seems utterly hopeless, but they will go for it anyway. And I think that's always, it's yeah. always great to get behind characters like that. And the hope, the hope like against mm -hmm. despair. You know? It was a big lockdown thing for me. Yeah. Mm. Remember when Christmas was canceled or maybe you were in New Zealand? Yeah, yeah you were in New Zealand. We were. <laughs> yeah. Flipping out. As soon as I said that, I went, oh, no. You were in Tongariro, weren't you? Yeah, oh, I was on no. the crossing. Yeah, sorry. Just popping a ring in Mount Doom. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was like, right. All yeah. the Lord of the Rings were right about yeah. now. Thanks very much. Extended editions. Let's yeah. not muck about. Yeah. What are the best, most anachronistic, you know, you taking photographs of yourselves in the outfit that you have on your phone? Well, in the in the costume. In the costume. <laughs> it comes out like slightly dishevelled. <laughs> With my glasses on, but as Disa. <laughs> oh, that was my hilarious. Phone, I just caught him taking a picture in the most wild. Yeah, I kind of, I went, because we weren't allowed to take photos either. So it's been deleted, obviously. So, oh, sure. <laughs> yes. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little yeah. BTS of um, myself. You weren't there. Myself and some orcs doing yeah. a oh, mashup yeah. of sing along of Taylor Swift and the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> It's like I'm like singing and they're my backup dancers like full on armor and all these like orcs just kind of going for it. I've it's got so many selfies with orcs as well. This is brilliant. I need to see this. It, they'll, they'll come out at some point. Well, the orcs again are the best for that oh, and yeah. they're our I've got one that. of you. Or doing emails on a laptop. Yeah. That's That was one of my favorites. You want an orc <laughs> doing yeah. a word or going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to wrap that up because I am still reeling from the fact that I brought up the Christmas cancellation and you weren't <laughs> even here. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.